I need to go and get my things from there. Remove everything. No, ma'am. Can I go back in the city hall? She can go back in the city hall as a citizen, oh. not as a mayor. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I uh, so you cannot. Uh, you can go to the city council meeting, but not as a mayor. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, that's what I said. This is what this is all about. This is the ghetto free press, and we just understand that undoubtedly they saying she can not go back as mayor. It seems as if though what they've been doing in Megs is now applicable here in Gordon. They say she can go to City Hall, but not as mayor this evening. And they waited until right before the meeting tonight. You call your attorney? No, I'm going to call, call him. Right him. Before you sign it, call your attorney. We should ask. Tommy Coleman, the attorney, to step down. We don't need him. He's a good man, but he, he, he's all of him. We, we need some more our Thomas County attorneys, you know, and, and that's one thing. But I'm asking for the fine of the city manager. She doesn't live here. Right. Right. And she's, she's, you can't get anything, you know, uh, I got a secretary that's doing several Open Records Act in Georgia that I'm going to give her, and uh, we're going to see where she's going to go from there, but uh, I'm not satisfied with the way it's going, and I think <laughs> most of you are. No, it's not right. We're not, we're not satisfied. And she don't give us any advice. I mean, like when the mayor, the mayor is in charge. The mayor's elected high official. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. She's a high, she's a high official. And, and they should give her respect. She won by a fair election, and they should give her respect, whether they like her or not. But they turn around and get up and walk out and leave all us in here with a lot of questions that we'd like to ask. Okay, so what's that telling us? They don't care. They don't care. We need to have somebody that can represent us. That's right. Because Mr. Coleman, Attorney Coleman, is representing very many, a lot of cities that was mentioned in the training on the weekend. So it's like double duty. He can't be with us for being everywhere else. But the money still rolls to his firm. Right. You know, we hired him. I don't even know that man's name. But that's a shame. I don't, y'all, but, but this is, this is what's nothing. going on. This is the cooperation I give. But how can I do it if I'm not given a chance? I'm not given not a chance, a step of a chance. No, I'm not trying to rally the crowd. No, I'm not trying to rally the crowd. Okay. Well, okay, even on, okay, since this is part of the new business, this is what I'm talking about. This is a amended 2013 budget that wasn't even brought to my attention. I don't know anything about this budget. This, this budget that I've been, I've been given today, is like totals that don't jive with the federal banking company, for one. Yes, it was an amended budget on 2013, but 2013, we had gotten a lot of money. We don't have that kind of money. So we asked Mr. Moga to get a, a statement and get a, a definite total of what we got in the bank. And is that on here? Yes, I'll tell you what happened later. I went into City Hall and I asked to be on the agenda. 
the uh, city manager or whatever she is, she says, uh, what do you want to talk about? I said, I want to talk about Officer Ross being fired, the chief. She says, uh, that's personal. We can't, you can't talk about that. I said, well, are you going to let me be on the tent and talk? And uh, Renee, the other clerk, says, you want me to take care of him? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, uh, and, and the city manager says, you, you, uh, you trying to start arguing? I said, no, I just want to speak at the council. My right, First Amendment. All rights. Our civil rights. They violate our civil rights when they don't let us get on the when they don't let us speak. And we try, we all try to do it in an orderly fashion. And, and it's not right. Everybody, that's what we're looking for. Hey, we, we want to say, you know, we want to come up and say, well, you know, uh, this or that, that ditch down there is not right, the road is not right, so and so is not doing his job, can y'all look into it or something like that? Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, so my advice to you, if you voted for her, Linda, the mayor, when you go in City Hall, you better take somebody else with you because they tried to, what they tried to do was intimidate and get me in the point that they was going to call it a hostile thing again. I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about because I've been in law enforcement. I've seen where it was going. I turned around and walked back. Mm -hmm. Officer Rawls, the chief there, went up there, tried to get on the agenda. He flatly refused him. What did I tell you? It was full or somebody else? That's what she told me when I tried to get on the I tried to get on the agenda. She told me it was full because I wanted to talk about my um, dismissal. She told me that I could and the council wasn't going to listen to me in the first place. So I, I, she wasn't going to let me on the agenda. So I'm like, well, why, why won't they listen to me? She said, then she, she goes on to say that um, we're not going to hire you back anyway. You haven't been here 60 days. I said, well, that's why, um, well, Renee was um, terminated, and you told her that she had five days to appeal it with the council, and you all granted her her job back. So I feel like I should be uh, at least heard and be granted mine back as well, because I knew I haven't done anything with my job. No, we're not finished. I, I, well, we don't have to go if y'all want to stay in here, because from this point on, we need to be the most I've never seen a city council meeting operate like this before. I don't understand how we allow the city attorney to control our meetings. They already, see, all of this was done without my say-so. He's not even our attorney. That's not an attorney. He's got some, he sent somebody in every time. Because you went to this meeting Saturday, and this is why he sent him, because he don't want to answer your question. It's the reason that he didn't call. This is the Ghetto Free Press. I'm on East Marshall Street. You have heard an individual here in May to talk about something with somebody. What, what would you talk about at council meeting? Then show us what you're talking about. What you say at council meeting? Like? This is a uh, private property. This is a church. What are the council? Um, this is this rock here is been paid for by the city for Megs, and we can't go on private property. Mm -hmm. I work for the city of Meg, which I was. This miss and this rock is very expensive. Mm -hmm. I've been poured on private property. Here's the drain where it should have been poured, but they didn't pour it on the, the hole that it should have been in. Mm -hmm. It's a washout. Mm -hmm. It's not a washout, it's private property. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have never gone there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I feel like is bribery. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, I feel like they've done this to um, vote against my sister, which is the mayor. And what's her name again? Linda Harris okay. is the mayor. And 
this is something that that's, that we we can't do. We can't go on private property. Well, what, what this is not the the, the 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 city manager's church, is it? This is one of the council members. Oh, this is a council this member a council church. Member. And, and, and that, is that the name of the church that I'm looking at? Is that the name of the church? Yes, yeah, church unusual. So you think that that may be a conflict of interest? It may make people act a certain way and vote a certain Very way? Much so. Very okay. much so. And she told Madam Mayor that if the council um, vote one way, then she's going to have to vote that way also. All right. And what's your name again, my brother? My name is Calvin Eason, and I work for the city of Mays, but I was terminated by Marsha DeMogul, which now is the city council, I mean, city uh, manager uh, slash... Um, Whatever she call herself to be. All right, thank you very much. And you say this is pretty near. Is, what company did this come from? Uh, Scrubs, oh, Scrubs uh, Construction. Okay. Scrubs Construction. Scrub okay. Construction. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's his name? His, his name is Willie McNeil. Uh -huh. This is Church Cairo's um, parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, this goes into this church, and this is a private property also. I can't. I can't stand on private property. Right. Uh, okay. This is private property, and this is. Something that, like I said previous, we can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, it was all paid for by the city. You mean this was paid for by the city? This, this, that? this was paid for by the city. The rock was paid for by the city of Meigs, uh -huh. uh, as well as the other rock um, placed on private property. Mm -hmm. We as employees can't, we're not supposed to go on private property, and especially putting the equipment on private property just in case there's something that's been damaged, then the city would be. Um, Lava. Yeah. Um, this is Church Cairo, and he was a city council, but being the corruption that was going on, he resigned, okay. which was the right thing to do as a minister. Okay. okay. Um, just like I said, the previous minister that, that we just filmed her church, yeah. she's still on the council. Okay. And a lot of bribery going on. He has nothing to do with it, but just stating this is something that goes on. Okay, so there's a great possibility, as one citizen said, that the ultimate goal probably to finish paving all of it like this, would you say? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, another thing, too, when I was down there, I don't know if you noticed or not, but some members, they may be having church or something, but they was also recording us. You saw that, right? No, they, I didn't no, they was they, they recorded us, so I, I just want to be on, yeah. Yeah, they was recording us, and I told them that it's okay to record us because all we're doing is reporting the truth for anybody to come out here and see. That's, that's so we have nothing to hide. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Look at my beautiful brother. Take care of yourself. I'm on my way. Okay, you do the Peace. same. Peace.
I don't understand that either. But our white light with blankets going to Well, I hate to say that right and right was wrong this time because that was not um, a proper. It it makes, it makes, the entry makes no sense. $1.4 million fixed assets, $1.4 million credit to the uh, alcohol and beverage tax. The entry made no sense. <laughs> that was brought to my attention, and so I'm bringing it up now. Okay, you, you, you say you want to hear examples of things. I, I found see. that myself. I'll look over these numbers every month. But, ask Ms. Brown, didn't I call her and ask her the same question? Where and why, and she told me that it was an error on Ms. Uh, right, right to come down for it. But you didn't know what the entry was. Yes, ma'am. You didn't see that? Look. This is what they understand. Yeah. I mean, it stands out. I mean, it's hard to miss it. Well, I have a problem with all of a sudden, therefore, you got cash fountain in your state. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, the, the old saying was, Where's the money, man? Right. As soon as you go out, the sign on the thing said the, the money's money in back. the bank. Mm -hmm. It slipped me through the back door. Oh. <laughs> That's how I got in the bank. Oh. One point four million. That not bad. If that money's not there, then all these figures mean this is money on paper. Uh -huh. A lot of this is money on paper. Uh -huh. We need in order to see exactly where we stand in liquid ass shit and everything else. Exactly. Because we don't know. Mm -hmm. I want a clean slate. That's all. Mm -hmm. I, I, the entry made no sense to me. I went and looked at the, um, if, if you get revenue in from the um, alcohol beverage tax, it goes through the general fund. <coughs> I went to look in the general fund to see if there was a deposit or anywhere near that kind of money. No. There's no deposit for money. It's just a flat journal entry for whatever reason. I had no idea. And you want to see examples of things. So I brought up an example of things. You know, I don't know what it is. It didn't surprise me. I saw it. I, you didn't surprise me. I already knew it. And I'd already questioned well, the right people to find out the right answer. Well, I wish I could Mr. come up with right something. Right. I wish I could come up with something. You're not surprised about it at this point in time. But the things I'm seeing, I still haven't. Be very careful where you go with your statements. I'm not going to put up question. with it if question. you continue to question. make accusations. Question, okay? uh, question attorney. I'm sorry, uh, counsel. Yes, counsel me. Now, to, to attest to this, can you explain to me that you got on the witness stand accordingly and said that I, the mayor, is, is bankrupting the city by stealing grant money and all bankrupting the city. So no, I can agree. <laughs> you <laughs> read the transcript. You will not see where Terry even said that. The, the, bankrupt, the mayor is bankrupt the city. So all of a sudden, the money's gone. Where's the money? Now you put the sign out there. We're happy, happy, happy. The money's back in the bank. I want to know which door did it come into. This is a county meeting. Are y'all really using some type signs and tags? Sure. Kelly, come on. Shh. Kelly, come on. 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 Kelly, as I said, the money's back, so we're happy, happy, happy. Show us how it got back. Auditor. I can't show you how it got back. I can't get back in and look. So I don't know. You know, I've I'm, I'm been removed and looking at this stuff. I just get things sent to me from time to time to say, look at this. This looks funny to me. That's the best I can do at this point. I still have my list of things that I want to go investigate. The transfers of money. Um, the investigation in certain accounts, I really don't want to go into a whole lot of detail of the things I want to do because I don't want to give away the things that I'm looking at because I, they could be changed and altered and purged. I don't need that to happen make my audit to be done. Does that not make sense? Yes, I can't explain everything I'm going to do as, as I go through it. I, when I finish it, I'll give you a full report of everything that I see and the funny transactions that happen. That's what I'll give you. Okay. And that is, and I'm doing this in the best interest of the city. Okay? I wish you would just accept that. If you don't accept that, then when it comes up to vote, vote no. Okay? Vote no. I want you to have all the information you need to be able to vote yes or no. I'd rather you vote yes. If you want to vote no, vote no. You move move forward. Okay? Is that clear enough? Um, that's... We have any answer for on those quick books in the year 2009, in August of 2009, there was $2 million moved from Georgia Farms 1 that went to Magnolia Bank to purchase the CD. Quiet, please. 
during that same time period that year, there was a two million dollar adjustment on the quick book. Why was there a two million dollar adjustment on the quick book? I don't know about the Mr. Wine, do you know why there was a $2 million adjustment? It had to go through the bank, as Ms. Morris Bank, she just banked it. When we moved that CD um, from Magnolia to Morris Bank, when we got to Morris Bank, she had to run it through the general fund account, some kind of banking transaction. Okay? But that money is actually that $2 million CD that we have now at Morris Bank. It's the same $2 million transfer from place to place. Okay, but I have a problem with the money was moved from Georgia Transfer 1. We see that in the QuickBook. We see where the money's moved, and it decreased the amount of money that was in the Georgia Transfer 1 down to 500 something thousand dollars. No. Then, you know, that two, it was 2 million, 500 something thousand in there until the 2 million was moved. Once the 2 million was moved, that left 563 thousand dollars in the Georgia Fund 1. Why, later on down, we got an adjustment in the QuickBook? for the year for right. $2 million. That was in, um, one of those year in all of the adjustments that Wright made. $2 million? Because mm -hmm. that's where it went through the bank, and they had to take it, they had to take it out of the general fund. Now that's something that I feel we need to really look into. But it's, it's all their document. I found it the other day, but I was like, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And you call Melissa Morris Bank, she'll verify. One, one, of the, one of the problems with the, with the George Blunt Fund was it hadn't been reconciled in at least 10 years. It needs to be looked at. And those, I was looking at the transaction line, and those are the transactions I want to follow to see where the money came from and where it went to. You look at all the, where all it went, all the types of the checks to make sure everything's being done the way it's supposed to be done. It just, it just hasn't been looked at. And it's a lot, it started out with $6 million, now it's down to $5,000. I'm not saying, I'm not, um, I don't think that the I just, I don't have the same opinion that Terry has about the $2 million, I, but there's other transactions there I have a problem with. Okay. Mr. Bess, when we move those amounts of money, whether you say it's 25, 50, or whatever, 75, this council makes a motion at this table to take the money out of the one Georgia fund, just like Mr. Grease tried to do that night for your $10,000 to get passed. We did the same thing every time the minutes would reflect when we voted to take that money and move it. So if you could get the minutes and look back into one Georgia fund, you would see that they would uh, match up, and then the transaction from one Georgia fund is an automatic transfer. <clears throat> they transfer that money automatically, you know, electronically to the Georgia bank. I can't remember which account it went in, say the money market fund or the general fund or whatever. But then to get it to the other fund, you have to move it, you know, once you get it to the bank. I know how it works. It. Yeah. I, understand. I understand how right, it works. Right, right. I just want to see the full transaction. I don't want to just see $25,000 out of here showing up here and then showing up over here. I want to see <laughs> that when that money moved over here, that was the money moved over here and it didn't come in from somewhere else. It was not reported. Okay, I want to see the check to back up the money and show up here so with the money that came in here, um, it was not just a check from somewhere else that you didn't record. It should have been recorded as revenue. Okay? That needs to be clarified. That's why I asked for the copy of the deposit slip and the check behind the deposit slip to show show me exactly where that money came from. Okay? That's, and I haven't been shown that yet. I've asked for it numerous times. Um, there's also... I hate to reveal everything, but there was a $230,000 transaction that moved money from the general fund in this FOSS 2007 fund. And it said to refund it. There was no money that ever came out of 2007 fund, FOSS 2007 to went to the general fund that needed to be refunded. But that was the note that was on there. So why is there a note that says refunded, but it was never taken out in the first place? Okay? Don't you, don't you think that needs to be looked at? Is there something maybe going on that needs to be investigated? I'm sure that money and the answer is there if you ask the right people. I might not off the top of my head remember. No, I in the past, we have had four or five different projects in this city that you have to use splash money for. And sometimes to pay that money, you pay for it with the general fund, and then you take and pay it back with the other money. Sir, it sir, can let, be, let me do it real quick. Okay. I don't just want to ask people. I want to see the documents. I'm not going to just take the word of somebody. Mm -hmm. see, I want to see the actual physical evidence of what's going on. 
That document should be there. I haven't even received a check. That's my whole problem. There's a lot of transactions I want to investigate to see that everything is above the board. Everything is fine. That's, that's it in the nutshell. I keep, I've told you that every time we bump into each other. Yes, sir. You know, and I don't put it on broadcasting it all over the place. I'm back done tonight. You know, but you're pushing me in this position to do this kind of thing, which is kind of silly to me. But that's what, that's what we're at. That's where we are. So, Count, go ahead. Go ahead, Count. Yeah, we can get you to finish this order. Do you have a problem with Mr. Eaton sitting right there? Sitting in there? And you I don't want to accompany me. I, I think so. So, you have no problem no, with him or any other council member I, I sitting while you complete this order. Am I correct? That's correct. Anybody come in if they want to. Uh, Mr. Smallwood came in one time. Uh, Mr. Smallwood came in the other time. Mr. Smallwood came in one time. Barb's come in several times. I don't think we ever. You came in once, okay. You never, you never came in. It never I didn't, I didn't. I don't didn't invite even, Well, I don't invite people. They just show up. Okay. okay. It's not an invitation only. It's just, I'm going to have work. Some people came in. Council. 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 Easy. Councilman Easy. I'm sorry. Mr. Baskin, does he have an invitation tonight? You have an open invitation to come in. Give me a yes vote. Will you Give me a no vote. I don't. Sir, you just I'll be glad to work with Mr. Baskett if we get everything ironed out legally. Yes. Well, that's fine. That's the whole point of this thing. That's why we're here to vote on my engagement letter to get everything legal the what you wanted. All right. And I want it legal too. And one other thing before we go any further, I want to say this one more time too. Your audit is not approved in our budget. You understand that? Do you know what that means? that your money has to be found and a budget amendment made to find where that money is going to come from to pay you. We have never done that. We don't have the money, you know, to pay you. So now we got to back up and try to find a way to find that money to pay you and do a budget amendment. It has to be voted on in order for you to get paid. You understand? I mean, well, that that, is, that's your opinion. I don't know. That is not an opinion. <laughs> that is by the state well, law. Uh, is that? I can tell you what. Uh, count the finance chair. We can do that. But well, what I'm saying is true, I, I, Mr. Reed. Right, yeah. What you're saying is true. And we can look at some line items and find the money. Because, uh, let me say this to you. I think we, we've uh, dealt in mediocre stuff up ever since the map in the It's time for us to act like grown folk and be the, the dignified Christian that some of us confess to be. Nobody's pointing fingers saying nobody does a thief, exactly. a robber, a liar. What we're saying is, in bidding, we're going to be mean. And this is the way we're going to operate the bidding. Let's get this audit complete. Let's get the standing on the city finance where we can do this budget and we can move exactly. forward. Because it's too many hindrances going on. It doesn't take this long to do this budget. Let's give Mr. Baskin what he's requested. Let's go ahead and complete this audit so we'll all know what the finances of the city are. Exactly. We have other things that we need to deal with. And these are precious issues, and we, we, we're just not going to go forward until we can get this stuff resolved. We're battling each other, and we're fighting, and, and this is not good for this council. Now, I, don't, I would never uh, point fingers at anyone on this council to say, I accuse you of this or that, that. Now, I will use the word, I see a misappropriation. If there were mistakes, then we need to correct them. But there are some things that the auditor needs to look at, and we need to give him that access. And if the thing is, Mr. Eden, that you weren't invited in, I, I would be more than happy for you to come. I wish you had a come to sit in because you're very instrumental on this council because yes. of the knowledge and the expertise and the years you put in service. Exactly. And you and I have never found each other. Mr. Smallwood, same situation. And we got to get back to this. Exactly. Man, you're new. Yes. But she don't know a lot of stuff, y'all. Exactly. She's trying to learn. Don't get her for being inexperienced. Exactly. I was director of a computer program from a damn maker, and I had to train people, and they thought they were smart. They sent me somebody that dropped out of school in the ninth grade. But you know what? That person turned out to be the best operator we ever had. Exactly. Why? Because I trained them. And people can do it. Everybody needs a chance. And the man needs a chance. We need to, when there are things that are not appropriate, Sometimes we have to discuss these things behind closed doors and not bring them to this open forum. Yeah, we got to get some things down now, and we got to get on one foot. We got to move forward with this. The lawsuits, the water adjustments, come on, y'all. 
I mean, we just got to move forward with the city business. We stalled seven, eight months. It's time to move forward. And I don't think we can move forward until we get Mr. Bass to come in here. And my prayer is that he don't find anything. But things are questionable. Let's go ahead and erase those questions and move forward. I do want to point out one more thing. It, um, there's a lot of cash that runs through the, here for the water bills. The people can say they're paying the bill, for the bills in cash. Cash is a very risky thing to pay your bills with because that, so that allows the possibility of easier to, to steal because cash is easier to, to take. Okay? I just want to make, if nothing else ever happens to this whole city, I would just like to tell you people, stop paying your water bills with cash. You write a check. They can't, nobody can steal your check. Not really very easily, but they can pocket your cash a lot easier than that. Okay, so just don't do that anymore. There's thousands of dollars being paid that way. Okay? You can pay any way you want to, but I just recommend you don't. That's really all I guess I'm trying to do anything else. I, I just want to make sure. I, the thing is, you, you got to vote yes or no. Abstain vote means you have, you have a problem. You have a situation. Either the way I understand, I did some research on this to find out what an abstain, abstention vote means. It means either have a conflict of interest. This is part of it. That's what I course. Either have a conflict of interest or you have, an answer, you have the questions answered yet. Yeah. So I came here to answer your questions. So anything you have, as best I can, with, I probably revealed too much stuff that I'm wanting to anyway. But I'm here to answer any questions so you can either vote yes or no and make a decision. Okay. So, is there any more questions? Just one more. Okay. Uh, the day we was in that hearing, uh, Miss Taylor Hunt came up to me with your card in her hand, and she told me that the NAM was going to pay your expenses. Did that happen? No. Well, she told me they were. She said, I wish she'd gone through with it. <laughs> she said a lot of things that ain't material. Okay. I, I'm just asking. Is she here? You know, yeah. Is she here? You got a check for me? I paid for um, some materials that you needed, some. I did an open request okay, for right. some records that you needed, okay. and they have not provided them. And I have called the Attorney General, and he told me by Wednesday, if I don't have them, that he's gonna, we're going to sue. <laughs> some of the things that she's asking for are those checks, the back of the deposit slips. I have not. She's asked for them. How, how long ago was that? Uh, uh, I sent a request in July. The 20th. Well, two. I got an answer back on the 28th. I spoke with Mr. Green, and he said that Mrs. Uh, she was going on a vacation, Miss Brown, and would be back on the 4th. The uh, assistant clerk could work on it, but she's got all the duties to do. And if the mayor permitted her, she could work on it and produce some of it. Well, the 4th came. I came up three days later, and Miss Brown refused to give me any information. I paid for it paid for a big portion of it, 230 something dollars, and then I have only gotten three of the 17 items. Where were you supposed to pick up those uh, the, According to the open records, I'm supposed to pick them up, and with the people of the records, and according to the open records request, after I read the document, the keeper of the records for Gordon, Georgia, is the city clerk, and that's where I was going to pick them up. Now, she was saying I need to contact uh, Attorney Boone, I told her no, that she was the keeper of the records, and that's where I would be receiving them from God. Now, if she wanted to go to Irvington and pick them up, if they were over there, then if they were being kept in, in Irvington, then I needed to notify the State Department that the records are not kept here, that they're kept in Irvington. And if I had to get them from Irvington, she needed to go get them and bring them here, because I was told to pick them up at the City Hall and go. See, I have a, I have a problem with having those document request to be picked up in Irving. I don't know why they're not picked up at City Hall. I don't understand. In Irving, does that mean that your office, are you receiving these, um, are, you, are you receiving these things? Well, with all due respect, sir, as she's already pointed out, she has made this a subject of an open investigation by the Attorney General's office. It is an open investigation now. We are answering it to the Attorney General's office. So I'm not going to comment on an open investigation by the Attorney General's office. Well, that's fair enough. But I, I just, I think, that if somebody asks an open records request, the documents will come from the city hall, not from anywhere else. Yes, because right. I want to see the documents straight from the, from the source without anybody else having their hands on them. Okay? 
that's that's uh, that's all I have to say. Unless you have any more questions for me, because I'm here to answer any question that you have, so you can vote yes or no on my audit. Or excuse me, my engagement letter. I'm, I'm asking, does anybody else have any more questions for me? Because I. I'm willing to answer anything. Related to Don. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Ben. Thank you. I don't know. I wasn't there to hear it. 
that was what was printed in the paper. And when I read that, I said, there's no way the city has a printed audit. They have a financial audit done every year. And, it, and you're supposed to, you're obligated to have a financial audit every year. And you, so you've got to. We've got clean governmental audits, you know, from the state for the last 30, 40 years, you know. Gatsby, I guess you're familiar with all the different Georgia, you know, laws that you go by and the audits. You have to meet all the standards they put out there. We met every one of them every year to get a clean audit. I've got a copy of the whole, you know, for the last 10 years. Um, there's one thing, I guess it, it probably gets time to read this. This is your punished audit from last year. Okay? And some of the, and some of the comments that are that are made by your financial audit by Brian Ryan. And probably, I, I, well said, and it is true. They, and I'll, I'll read it to you. It says, a deficiency in internal controls exists when the designer operation of the control does not allow management or, or employees in the normal course of performing their assigned functions to prevent or detect and correct the statements on a timely manner. Material weaknesses, deficiency, or a combination of deficiencies in internal controls, such that there is a reasonable defect, possibility that a material misstatement of the entity is going to be prevented or detected correct on a timely basis. And this is not very long. That's just um, our consideration for the intro control is for the limited purpose to describe the first paragraph of this section it was not designed to Identify all deficiencies in the internal control that might be material weakness or significant deficiencies. Given these limitations during our audit, we did not identify any deficiencies in terms of what we consider to be material weaknesses. However, material weaknesses may exist that have not been identified. That's a standard statement I know. put in there. If you're an auditor, you, you would do something the same thing. Okay. But they did say down here, accordingly, we do not express an opinion on the effectiveness of the city of control, Gordon's internal control. Basically, they are not really happy with internal control. And, and you can't have good internal controls in a situation where you have one person doing all the functions. That in itself will have poor internal controls. Now, you have a small office, so there's really a lot of, it's difficult what you can do about it. But it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get somebody in there to help out. So you can divide the divide functions. Right. Hey, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I went into City Hall and I asked to be on the agenda. The uh, city manager or whatever she is, she said, uh, what do you want to talk about? I said, I want to talk about Officer Ross being fired, the chief. She says, uh, that's personal. We can't, you can't talk about that. I said, well, are you going to let me be on the agenda and talk? And uh, Renee, the other clerk, says, you want me to take care of him? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, uh, and, and the city manager said, you, you, uh, you trying to start an argument? I said, no, I just want to speak at the council. My right, First Amendment. All rights. Our civil rights. They violate our civil rights when they don't let us get on the agenda, when they don't let us speak. And we try we all try to do it in an orderly fashion. And, and it's not right. Everybody that's what we led them for. Hey, we, we want to say, you know, we want to come up and say, well, you know, uh, this or that, that ditch down there's not right, the road's not right. Someone says not doing its job. Can y'all look into it or something like that? Mm -hmm. Well, and uh so my advice to you, if you voted for her, Linda, the mayor, when you go in City Hall, you better take somebody else with you because they tried to, what they tried to do was intimidate and get me in the point that they was going to call it a hostile thing again. I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about because I've been in law enforcement. I've seen where it was going. I turned around and walked back. Officer Rawls, the chief there. Went up there, tried to get on the agenda. Uh, he flat refused him. What did I tell you? It was full. It was on my own. That's what she told me when I tried to get on the I tried to get on the agenda. She told me it was full. Because I wanted to talk about my um, dismissal. 
She told me that I could, and the council wasn't going to listen to me in the first place. So I, I, she wasn't going to let me on the agenda. So I'm like, well, why, why won't they listen to me? She said, then she, she goes on to say that um, we're not going to hire you back anyway. You haven't been here 60 days. I said, well, that's why um, well, Renee was um, terminated, and you told her that she had five days to appeal it with the council, and you all granted her her job back. So I feel like I should be uh, at least heard and be granted mine back as well, because I knew I haven't done anything but done my job. How can you do me wrong when I'm doing you right, baby, when I'm doing you right, yeah, I bought you a car, house, and a diamond ring, and you're acting right, I haven't done a thing, I want to know how can you do me wrong when I'm doing Tell me, baby, I wanna know how. Oh, I wanna know how. Can you do me wrong? Oh, baby, baby, when I'm doing it right. Oh, yeah, when I'm doing it right.